What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. In the last one you saw we managed to get this Golf GTI bumper grafted onto the Caddy bumper. Um, which, yeah, video's gone down really well so thank you all so much for watching that. Part 2 of that video explaining how I've got to where I am now with the filler and everything will be going live on my YouTube probably next week. So if you've not already, smash that subscribe button, hit that bell to get notifications of when that video's going to drop. This video if you've seen the thumbnail, is going to be about removing the dashboard, the carpet and bits out of the caddy start fitting the Turan pieces that I've got in the racking. Now we've already done it once, removing it from the Turan, so it should be pretty much the same process removing it from this. So, I grabbed some kit, chuck the camera on the tripod and we'll make a start. There we go then guys, dashboard is out. Wasn't too difficult getting the dash out. The thing that put up a fight was getting the stalks off the column, which I'd missed a bolt, which anyway, they're off now. Strip this door down as well, obviously, because we're going to be putting the electric windows out of the Turan into this, so we'll strip them down as well. I'm now going to pull the flooring out and we're pretty much back to where we need to be. I'll take the seat belts out as well because the seat belts are damaged and I've got some new ones um, out of, from a breaker. There we go, door stripped, dash out, floor, front rubber mat out. I've taken the insulation out as well, because uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to need, whether I'm going to need it or not. Um, so I figured we'd take it out because, yeah, there's a bit of bit of rubbish and dirt on the floor. So we'll give it all a nice clean before we start putting anything back in. And then I'm going to have to start working out what goes in first. I'm going to say probably the floor carpets will go in first. Um, seems like, yeah, work from the bottom up floor carpets in and then we'll probably try and see what the dash is saying so I'm pretty sure from what I've been told online I'm going to need some brackets out of the Turan for the ends of the dashboard and a couple of other brackets so we'll work that out as we're going along um, yeah stripped out I'm going to because I'm starting to get a little bit hangry come back all fed, all happy, and we'll carry on. There's all that cleaned then, ready to roll. So I'm going to grab the carpet now and we'll chuck the two front carpets in. We'll then put the rear carpet back in again, get all that sitting everywhere and sitting where it needs to be. Um, and then look at the dash, I suppose. Now there is, I'm putting the carpet in first because I don't want to get rubbish all over and dirt all over the floor again. I've just hoovered twice. So that's why they're going in. Now these are hardly the cleanest, yes they're filthy, but they're going in, I'm going to get a detail to come and detail the inside of the van when it's done, and I need to get them in for content for YouTube, so yeah, they're going in for now. I've not got the standard insulation that we've taken out of the van either, 
these have got the insulation built into the underside of them. We go, looking better already. And these trims, I've seen people ask online, how do you fix these down to the floor? Well, red, you don't. Just put them down. The carpet holds them in place and the weight of it all stops them moving around and making any noise. You could grip fill them down or uh, tiger seal them down, but there's no guarantee you're going to get them in the right place. So yeah, I'm just going to leave them and let the carpet do its thing. Try to give these a bit of a clean, but yeah, absolute filthy. But like I say, we get a detailer, so try and get them in for now so that we're not walking more mess under the carpets. As I already have them. So next, I'm gonna get the dash, and we'll offer it in and see what we think looks like needs else needs to come out of um, the Turan. Hopefully, not a lot. So the first problem we've come across is this bracket on the end here needs changing. Now, it's the same bracket there, but it's got this extra bit on the bottom, save making a load of mess. I'll unbolt that. This is the one out of the Turan. Now, I was told we needed to do this. I just, yeah, thought we'd try without just so just so I can show all the problems and things that you have to do on here and try and make it sort of as detailed as possible. Same bracket, this one's just got a bit on the bottom, so don't need that. So that should fit this side now. I'm going to swap the one on the driver's side. There's that one from the driver's side, then out the caddy, and this is the one out the Turan, so they've got a different bracket at the bottom. There's them brackets changed. See if it goes back. One eternity later. <sighs> Whatever you do when you're doing this dash conversion, don't forget that you need to change this bracket here for the one out of the Turan. This piece, so these are the bits that are out of the Turan. So you need to change this top piece, which just clips on to the top of the heater there. You've got this piece here, which has got one bolt there and then clips down. And the other one's there, it's massive. So yeah, swap that, swap that. And you also need to swap this one at the top, which has got four 10 mil nuts on it. So they're the three pieces that you need to take out of the Turan to put into the caddy for all the heat system to work as it should. Now I've had to remake seals and things, but because it's all perished, it's old, it's got hot, cold, obviously. Um, but yeah, you need to change, make sure that you change them. The dashboard's in, all clipped in, all the fixings for that are in. I've now gone through all my racking and found most of the parts that we need to be putting in. Now, I haven't managed yet, so I have just bought the centre console with the armrest because the car didn't have one. So that won't be going in yet, but we can start putting the rest of the pieces in. This dashboard then, getting it in and out, I'll try and show you where fixings and things are that tripped me up. So to get the dash out, you need to take the stalks off. Now I was pulling them on all sorts of clips and all stuff that were going on. You don't need to do that. All you need to do, that screw there, which isn't in the correct place at the minute, that pushes back. And in that housing there, you can see that, there's a little torque screw. It's in there, undo that, and that slides off. Now that must have taken me about 10 minutes to work out that was what it was. Another bit that 
really did trip me up on the caddy was trying to remove the heater controls. So they're cable heater controls. Um, the this side of it, where you've got the feet or the windscreen or whatever, the fitting just pushes into a hole there. But the other side, this one, you've got a bit of a mechanism that goes on. And I'll try and unclip this end, and it really won't work. In when I worked out, it is a nightmare to get to up in the dash. But there's show you that this clip with this ball on the end that goes all up inside the dash in here it isn't a nightmare to get to what i've forgotten to explain is if you remove the tray on top of the dashboard and shine a light down you can access the clip from the top and get the ball out of the fitting quite easily so yeah that was another part that tripped me up um I think that was about it. The other end is that fit in there. And that just obviously clips in to that hole, that end. And then there's just electrical plugs to put on as well. Now, obviously, this is the Turan dash that's in now. Um, but going around quickly, you've got Torx screw there. You've got two here, one at the back. Um, I think you might have a couple down here as well. Um, I don't think you need to take those ones out. There's one there, one in there, and two up here. And they're also clips on top of the dash, which I'll show you in this, because obviously they're covered on that one. So I broke the one on the Taran, on the Caddy, so I've took that one out. But that's what they look like. And obviously the dash has got a bit of plastic on it that clips into it which I can actually show you on the caddy dash because that's still here even though I've sold it and the guys come to pick it up that is what clips in to that fixing and that's how the dash fits so yeah not loads of work and not loads of fixings it's more of a faff getting everything else off hopefully I think that's covered some of the bits of how to get things out all I did was just kept finding screws and undoing them um, I've had a few people say how are you keeping track of where the screws go and all of that. I've got a box of bolts that have come off the Turan and I've got a box of bolts that have come off the Caddy and they're in, both in separate boxes and trying to use the Caddy fixings obviously all the time. Now these are threaded, these are not so these are the more sort of not self tapping but yeah cut thread screws. These are a tapped thread so they're pretty obvious. Um, and then most of the dash is these sort of cut thread torch screws. So it's pretty obvious when you start putting it back together what goes where and it doesn't fit, doesn't do up, it's too long, too short. So yeah, not really keeping a tab on them, just sort of putting screws back in. And the beauty of having the Taran is I'm not going to run out of fixings because they're all the same. Right, enough of me chatting. Let's start throwing some more bits into this dashboard. Let's roll. Thank <laughs> you. 
So it's a quick one. If anyone's ever wondered on how to remove the bonnet release catch, very, very, very simple. Back of it, screwdriver in, so it's in the car like that. Pull that, clip comes out like that, and it comes off. Easy as that. So yeah, that's it in it. Screwdriver in there, pull that out, that comes off. Easy. So there we go then guys, there is the Turan dash conversion done, having the dash in and out three times, um, plus probably more. Um, it's in, now it does need a bit of a clean, um, but it's in and looking a hell of a lot better than it did. So it needs a damn good clean, it's got marks all over it. Need an airbag for the steering wheel still, which I'm not sure it's going to be the Turan wheel or the Kelly wheel guy back in, or I might buy a new one. I don't know, I've got an idea for a wheel, but I'm not 100% sure on it yet. Centre console, obviously, it's the one out of the uh, Turan because it's got because it's got the ashtray in the back of it. But that's just in there temporarily until the one with the armrest comes because the Turan didn't have one with an armrest in. Carpets are all in, looking good. Trims are all in. It's got me light in there, I'm trying to, yeah, illuminate everything for me to work and film it for you. But I got a hold of these steps as well, which much better trimmed that and i'm not happy with this i do still need to finish these off but it was just quick and they're in um, until i get time to, to trim them again but yeah, i'm well happy with the dash it looks absolutely brilliant and was well worth the hassle and well worth the faff completely changes it we've got the trans seats in with the trans seat bases as well which are all direct bolt in again this floor's filthy but we'll have to get it cleaned another part done which I'm well happy with. Now, obviously, we've still got the door cards and things to put on, um, and I'm fully aware that I'm going to have to probably take some of the dashed pieces again for when we do the electric windows because you need to run a uh, power a positive from the fuse box to the passenger door and to the driver's door because there's not a power feed there or something. I still need to read up properly on that, but I think that's what you've got to do. So, yes, I will have to take bits out, but I'm not bothered. It's in. This video is complete, and yeah, hopefully, you guys. Well, I've got something from it. So hopefully that will, um, yeah, stop any of you guys having the same problems that I did and having to do things over and over and over again. Make sure that when you get the dash conversion kit, you get the windscreen vents, the bigger scoop that feeds the outer vents, and then the scoop at the front that does the two central vents and the front bracket, because if you don't get them, it won't work and you have to keep taking it out. I have, however, got from a complete dashboard, take it all out, fit those bits, film and talk and look on my phone, put it all back in, down to about an hour. So yeah, we're not doing too bad with that. But hopefully I never have to take this dashboard out again. So it's in, it's done, it's another thing off the list. Hopefully you've enjoyed it and hopefully you'll have got something from it. I've definitely learned a lot from this episode, which is research before you start doing something. Don't just start doing something thinking you know what you're doing, but anyway. We'll leave this video here, guys. Thank you all so much for watching it. I do really, really appreciate it. Until next time, enjoy.